the peak, the peak. It's time to go to the peak, everyone. Okay, let's turn a light on in here. Oh, my, I solved the mystery of the mason jar. Sure enough, it's heating it up and then uh, it's heating it up in the microwave and then sometimes it spills over and so I have to wash it off in water, but the water is too cold and it just cracked in my hand. So anyway, hopefully uh, I don't cut myself here, but this mason jar is now done too. All right, we are off. Oh, the suffering. Here we go. Time to, time to get down to business, everyone. I am not messing around. As you can probably tell, I love training. I love working. I love suffering. I love going into that pain cave. Um, but it probably is a little easier for me to go into the pain cave and to see the depths of my ability to deal with that pain, but it's enhanced on the trails. I just, I, I love it. I, I, you know, I love the roads, love doing my 23 mile loop here in Denver. I love it, but man, the climbing, that is where it's at for me. So that's where we're going to the peak. You know what peak I'm talking about. Time to do the business, everyone. Here we go. Come on. Pikes Peak Marathon training is, uh, it gets really real the first time I go up and down. And that's today, all right? In the peg trail threes, going for it. Uh, in the, actually, I remember one of my first runs up and down last year was in the peg trail twos, uh, which interestingly, I did not take to 50 miles last year. So I'm interested to see, I'm just, let me just say, let me do a quick little durometer before, oh. I think they heard people talking about the midsole being a little firm, a little hard last year. So this feels better already just to the thumb test for the durometer. Just getting done lacing up the left foot. And uh, other than the shoelaces being too short, Nike, they feel really good. All right, I'm excited so far. And 26 miles, 7,200 feet of vertical gain. I do believe right around there. Uh, I'll confirm with a title on the screen for you. First time back since last August. Uh, yeah, you know, I haven't, I haven't been back since uh, the race last year. And oh man, I hate to even go here, but uh, some people have been asking me, especially over on, uh, over on, I think it was on Twitter, that the Golden Trail World Series is not going to be included in this year. Sorry, the Pikes Peak Marathon is not going to be included in the Golden Trail World Series because of travel challenges getting from Europe to the United States. We actually talked about this in uh, yesterday's live stream, or two days ago, in case you missed it, upper right hand corner. And my thought is, I get it, you know, if you can't travel, you can't travel. It's a little, it, it's, I said in the live stream, it's just sad because the competition uh, is like, I want the, you know, I want to race against the best in the world. And there's a lot of great runners all over the world. And so if they're unable to travel here, it's just sad. But, you know, you can't control that. You just, all you can't control, all you can control is how fit, fresh, and healthy you arrive at that Pikes Peak Marathon starting line. So, yes, not the question of the day, but one question, who is signed up and registered for the Pikes Peak Ascent or the Pikes Peak Marathon, and is this your first time doing the marathon, second time, like how many times have you done either race? Let us know in the comments, and who knows, maybe a conversation could be started down below if you are, if it's your first time and you could, you know, bounce ideas off each other with respect to clothing, uh, food, hydration, training, shoe choice. A lot of people are asking me about which shoes I'm going to race in, and thus far, um, I don't know yet, but the shoes from last year are definitely in the running, Innovate, and then looking at some Solomons. Okay, laced up, wow. Other than the shoelaces, they feel great. All right, come on, vamanos. Uh-oh, everybody, at the base of Pikes Peak, didn't even get running, and here's Eero, originally from the Netherlands, running your first, what are you doing this year? First ascent this year. Running Pikes Peak for the first time. Yeah, I did it, uh, 
last Saturday for the first time all the way to the top. Okay. And today my second attempt to uh, get awesome. up there. Awesome, man. So enjoy your run. Awesome, I, really I will. It. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah. DGR Strong. Yeah. We'll see you at the start line. Okay. Okay, man. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so great. All right, I'm going to the start line. Speaking of the starting line, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna tell you what, my legs feel really good, and these shoes feel really good. Okay, I gotta adjust my water bottle real quick. You want to make sure you can feel your fingers on top. America's mountain. Oh man, there's no shortcuts in long distance running. There's no game time buzzer beaters. You just gotta put in the work. I don't know what else to tell you. And it's a beautiful thing. Oh my my. All right, I am very curious to see uh, how these times compare. So this time up, first ascent up Pikes Peak in 2021. How do how does this time, which was 3:03 to the top, how does this time compare to my first ascents over the past two to three years? I'm gonna do a little digging into the Strava archive. Let's connect on Strava. All right, there's my name. Type it in. Love to connect with you and share my journey this summer to the Pikes Peak Marathon 2021. But okay, here on your screen, here's my first ascent times from the previous, you know, couple of years. I'll do as much digging as I can. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you guys see? Okay, how's this time of 3.03 compare to the time of the last, uh, the times of the last couple of years? Mm. Oh yeah. Dark chocolate mint. Oh, sorry, it's not done. Choco fudge. Mm -mm -mm. I am also curious how much my vest weighs with two GoPros, a drone. Last but not least, my drink today, my drink mix is from Gnarly, and it's the. Uh, it's the. Uh, oh my goodness. The Coke. Uh, cherry Coke, I think. Yeah. Cherry Coke flavor. Oh, delicious. All right. Enough talking. Enough jibber jabber. You guys, you guys know how I did today compared to previous years. We'll break it down at the bottom. Vamanos. Yeah. 
mineral water. Coming right out of the mountain. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Mm, it's unbelievable. Yesterday's vlog, which was, you know, I, I put it together, tried to bring you some three words of a little bit of wisdom that I've applied to my life. Just keep uploading. Just keep running. So many. If you have a, a second, don't go watch yesterday's vlog. Go to yesterday's comment section. Unbelievable comments in yesterday's vlog. All right, here we go. Peg trail three. Talk about this in a second. First, first of all, though, comment of the day. So hard to choose, but I, I went with this one. Brandon Atkins. Advice he's giving. And this was the question of the day from yesterday. Shoes are like tires. They matter, but they matter less than what's under the hood. And I don't know, Brandon, if you're talking about what's under the hood with respect to your mental state, your lung capacity, your aerobic capacity. I don't know what you exactly mean, but I love that comment. Um, so sorry, I'm back. So we're moving, and one of the reasons we're moving, like this was a big eye-opener about three months ago. Maybe four months, I can't walk through the house because when Henry sees me, he wants me to hold him. And I obviously that's amazing, it melts my heart. But I have to work too. And so he hears my voice and he knows I'm in here and he just breaks down crying. So anyway, that's what just happened. I'm back. Brandon Atkins, you get the comment of the day. Thanks as well. I see you are a member of the channel. I appreciate it, sir. Um, so where was I? Lost my train of thought. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, Peg Trail 3. Way better than expected. Amazing. I gotta say, Solid lockdown. I still, I'll keep testing. I think we're going to get to 50 miles in this guy. I do believe so. Durometer amazing. Not a really aggressive outsole, but it's doing, it'll do the trick for a lot of trails. Um, let me just see. Yeah. Ooh, fully gusseted tongue at the end of the, guys, I'm saying a big update from Peg Trail 2. And I got a, the Peg Trail 2 is not at my house right now. It's at the storage unit. So I'm really interested in doing a comparison, a, a running shoe battle between the trail. Well, frankly, the Peg Trail original, the 2, and now the 3. So I'm very excited. Those are my initial thoughts on this shoe. Question of the day. I had it a second ago, but of course... Uh... Ah, there it is. I got it. Suffering. Okay, question of the day. How do you deal with suffering while running? Okay, that pain cave. What's your, not me, you know, it could be mental, it could be physical, it could be a nutrition based answer down below in the comments. Thanks for hitting it up, closing it out. Keep, keep turning that doorknob. All right, here we go. Tossing it back to the uh, last year's first ascent of, oh, and by the way, I couldn't find a lot of. For some reason, anyway, I found that one run from last year for, on Strava. Anyway, we'll throw it to last year's run. First run up Pikes Peak right there, right there, right there. In the Peg Trail too. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.